subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Today we have Mr. Dheeraj Gupta. He has over 15 years of experience in logistics management domain and is currently working as lead logistics specialist in GE Renewables from last two years. He has multidisciplinary experience in ABV in its power division at Vajogira and over nine plus years experience in LNT and the project logistics for Oman, Malaysia and Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. He has extensive experience in warehouse operations, general cargo and over-dimensional cargo or ODCs, transportation, logistics strategy and safety. We seek his guidance to learn more about logistics management as a subject and as a profession and also his career trajectory in logistics management. On behalf of vSkills, I welcome you to this interview, sir. I hope you have a good Thank time you. today. Thank you, Rajat. Thank you very much. Yes, we can start. Okay, sir. So, first of all, we just like to uh, welcome you to this interview. And to uh, begin with, we just like to have a first brief about some of your uh, career trajectory or career progression that you had gone through mm. in this logistics industry. Yeah, yeah, automation. yeah, definitely. Yes, yes. After finishing my education in mechanical engineering, I had started uh, my career with uh, Larson and Tobro at that time. Uh, in 2007, I was uh, placed through campus placement there, uh, and then uh, I had joined them in uh, you know I, in their hydrocarbon business. At that time it was called Refinery SVO. Oh, then and uh, was uh, after my training got completed one year my training in the design department and uh, uh, engineering. Then I had moved to supply chain management out of my interest. I have chosen this career uh, while pursuing with MBA according uh, with uh, my with my work. So it uh, interests me to you know to manage the things which are moving. So I had then choose the, my career in supply chain management and logistics management. And uh, then it, it was uh, since uh, in uh, you know. Uh, project business, it is not a manufacturing, it was not a manufacturing uh, facility like uh, something which is happening on daily basis, on repeating basis. Okay. It so much, it was so much dynamic field in to manage the logistics of projects because we were uh, constructing many refineries, petrochemical complexes, uh, uh, other chemical complexes, manufacturing facilities for other companies, other clients. So had to, oh, you know, to, to, to manage the logistics to form up to forms to uh, plan the shipments uh, for those projects. So it has given me a, a dynamic experience altogether. Uh, so I had worked with LNT almost uh, eight and a half years. After that, uh, I had moved to ABB. It was again a, a, a different business uh, from refinery. I, I went to the power business. But again, the concept was same. Instead of constructing the refineries, my this dead company was constructing the power plants. But again, the thing was same. They had to manage the logistics for the equipments, for the material which was using in power plants from our supplier, various supplier in all over the world, to our various project sites. After working with APB, then uh, again for a few few one one year around, I had worked with, again my ex uh, employer LNT and from last three years I am working with GE and here we are constructing uh, re uh, renewable hydro electric power plants so again I am a different business segment but the the, the you know the function is same the logistics management for project so okay. in that so overall my my career is moving around uh, to manage the project logistics only okay so so what exactly was the main means how you got interested in this field of logistics and supply chain management. Yeah, definitely. Because you know the thing is that every day in the logistics field it's a new challenge since I have already explained that it is not project logistics is actually not like something which is happening on daily basis. Some something which has happened today will be worked uh, tomorrow also. It is not happening. Many, so it's not routine time, you mean? Yeah, it's not routine time. It's, it's every day challenging. Okay. New challenges every day. Then it is an opportunity 
to interact with every function logistics because in the logistics it is the only department which have to interact with engineering department finance department project management okay. department procurement department so you have to carry the multi dimensional approach so your interpersonal skills get nurtured uh, even your inter entrepreneurial skills also get or also get nurtured because every decision which you take today will definitely going to impact your project schedule your sales your you know business revenue and even the cost also okay so it means that this logistics domain is quite dynamic it gives you various opportunities to grow and it of course yeah. it's, it's also a challenging field to be in yes okay. yes 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 it's totally challenging and also it gives you you know uh, no geographical boundaries uh, because this uh, since uh, in project logistics specifically we had uh, managed projects uh, more than 20 to 25 countries and even in india we are doing pro- projects uh, in my com- current company i am doing more than 30 locations project so okay. the you know geography if someone has a, a interest for this you know that kind of geographical territory explorations and all it uh, gives them a good uh, ex- uh, chance to grow and to nurture his uh, his attitude and skills okay so what specific skills do you think are needed to be successful in this logistics and supply chain management definitely the, you know when we come to a specific skills uh, first thing is very first thing which i think uh, much needed is analytical skill because uh, uh, whenever you need to take decision you have to analyze uh, uh, many many facts and figures to arrive any anything like what are the how much the shipments was carrying uh, was uh, uh, executing how what was the mode of those shipments how was the cost that time right now how we are going to frame this then next is the interpersonal skills since i had already explained to you that you have to uh, uh, collaborate with many others other departments other functions so interpersonal skills is very much uh, required there in logistics then third one is the adaptability to change time is getting okay. changed what are the fun- things which were working uh, how they were worked the last four years is not like that, that it is going to same today so and then and then again the person need to be on the ready to work on the ground to meet the people who are carrying out the logistic operations even with the like sometimes have to talk to the drivers understanding their, their problems have to talk to the you know the the, the brokers vendors so uh, so this uh, ground working on the ground skills is also required so that flexibility to uh, connect mm. with any person means irrespective of their role in this whole chain should yeah. be there yes means that's yes. also quite important other than analytical skills and interpersonal skills yes important. yes okay okay sir we as we are also observing that there is a horizontal collaboration mm. in when we see that last mile delivery so mm. how is that uh, affected these inconsistencies means how can a high level of efficiencies can be achieved when we're talking of last mile deliveries yeah the thing is yes the, the same even the same issue we are also facing uh, day by day because you know sometimes the, the locations the remote locations of the projects are are creating challenges for the last mile delivery uh, even because the thing is there is a huge uh, you know improvement gaps are there because logistics is being in unorganized sector only 5 to 7 percent i logistics players are utilizing their it resources efficiently and uh, infrastructure issues are also there sometimes uh, you know the the the, the even uh, approachable uh, roads are not uh, available uh, last mile deliveries uh, vehicles type of vehicles are not available the market is also not uh, you know i can say not ready to fix uh, those like last mile issues till now and other the federal issues are also there many is if something are between in interstate uh, movement is there then there are different regulation regulatory requirements so From those are the to challenges. State. yeah so those are the challenges actually which uh, we are facing in my in last my delivery still uh, what we do we collaborate uh, with the local vendors over there local logistics service providers then we try to you know collaborate in such a way that the movements happens uh, uh, smoothly 
to cope up with these last mile challenges again i am seeking that if, if, if uh, in, in long term this uh, infrastructure related issues and uh, the 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 federal related issues can be sorted out so the it Things the is more efficient more efficient yeah okay okay sir now as we are seeing in logistics domain that when an individual customers as we are seeing mm. they expect shipments to be faster and we are seeing that this same thing is also getting translated to industrial customers when they are expecting shipments faster flexible approach means as per their own need it should be specific to their own needs so how do you handle such requirements when in the organization yeah if we 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 have worked with you know it enabled partners since i have i have, I have already uh, told that uh, in many men the logistics is a more uh, unorganized sector till now in india so still there is a reluctance to 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 adopt for a uh, information technology like uh, still many service providers do not using uh, it apps applications which are available so we insist to use those it it enabled platforms for you know for real time monitoring many are doing that so we are so we you know we are uh, working uh, with those company who are doing uh, who are uh, you know utilizing those it who are having rich in it resources who can provide us the daily monitoring auto monitoring using the applications even such applications are available like my truck etc in which you can directly monitor the the location of your vehicle where it is okay. how much time it will take how what is the speed it is going on and all okay that's really quite mm-hmm. informative in sense okay sir now mm-hmm. we also are seeing that due to such changes in digitization and there mm-hmm. are really evolving customer expectations uh, we see that logistics is confronting a lot of changes so this offers both a risk as well as an opportunity so what yeah, is, what's your opinion about it sir risk is uh, i think the uh, risk is getting mitigated because the thing is uh, earlier uh, you can say if we see about uh, even 10 to 15 years back the, the the support from you know what we can say uh, statutory regulatory bodies were not available too much but right now from last 7 to 8 years it is getting improved even getting permissions for doing movements are you know much easier nowadays what uh, type of permit is the type of permissions uh, which were taking 45 to 50 days earlier now is ge- getting in only 7 to 8 days or sometimes 2 uh, to 3 days only so, uh, so the opportunities are much there but yes there are the, the risk is associated because you know sometimes logistics uh, uh, needs logistic uh, any any logistic company needs huge capital investment even if okay. you if you mobilize only one vehicle it it it, it cost minimum uh, 15 to 20 lakh rupees so again uh, the, the because of only this uh, capital uh, this thing uh, there is a major risk but it can be mitigated by utilizing it resources available technology and uh, you know how can be we utilize the infrastructure in a better way okay so in terms of risk though there is a being a capital intensive industry logistics does have a lot of yeah. risk but in terms of opportunities in india we see that being an unorganized sector it offers a lot of growth options and one yes. can one can i think also scale up and have a good career out of it obviously okay. you can see that many companies even uh, if i can name revigo delivery expert uh, express bees they were not also not available or not in the market 5 years ago but now since last 5 years they were you know they have expanded their market uh, like anything even okay. they are you know the, they are skipping the middleman and getting okay. order directly from yes. customer to customer yes sir so that what was my next i just wanted to ask mm-hmm. that how does this digital fitness or digital thing is now getting a prerequisite in this logistics sector which is though very unorganized mm-hmm. yes see, yes because that, technology as you said is moving ahead so how does it is impacting the whole logistics thing yes it is definitely it, it is impacting you know very deeply uh, if these new players like i have uh, mentioned that we go delivery express bees 
and even if we are seeing from last one year amazon has also started taking delivery orders only if you want to ship your thing you just okay. go to your amazon order you create their order if you are not purchasing from amazon but still you can courier it because they have what they have done they have already developed their infrastructure available in the country everywhere okay. they are their every hub their offices their delivery offices everywhere they have set up now what apart from their phone deliveries they are taking orders from the customer also they are from some courier company as well so okay. this is how they are effectively managing their infrastructure what they have developed in india okay, uh, yeah. so this okay. thing is getting changing no. okay sir so now we see that this digital operations are being implemented by companies so what are the biggest challenges for building such operational mm-hmm. capabilities in a company major challenge is the less of education available with the operators drivers and the okay. people who are doing on the ground basis because they are too much reluctant to learn the new things like uh, even we when we have impl- i was uh, in uh, my ex or uh, my uh, earlier organization we were impact- we were implementing my truck applications but uh, drivers are not ready to you know download the app and use that uh, although it was their betterment only but still they are having reluctant because of less education second thing is still driving and you know delivering is still considered as a low profile job in india if uh, it is uh, you know last choice if someone is not able to get another job so then only he will try to so this mindset is you know getting uh, need to get changed then again infrastructure issues for which i have said you that still but uh, but i don't think that infrastructure issues will be there after 4 to 5 years because the improvement is get is seen uh, in a you know very good manner okay so so what you think are the major key technologies that that we see in the uh, in logistics domain are making an major impact in yeah, in major advancements in, yes sir. yes sir. definitely like the using of uh, iot internet then uh, artificial intelligence uh, data you know automation warehousing automation robotics even uh, now um, if you go to any amazon uh, fulfillment center you will find that uh, their boxes are being managed by the robots the conveyor systems are like that only that it totally uh, automated automated it is uh, warehouse are getting automated everywhere so the lead time is getting reduced because of that lead time is getting reduced things are available much faster that's why they are you know every company is now uh, you know focusing on the fasting faster delivery that uh, in 30 minutes 20 minutes now now automate on the saying only 10 minutes delivery yes yes now so we are seeing a lot of it yes Uh, that the, 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 they they are also controlling the information flow as well apart from the physical flow they okay. are you know working that how fast they can get the information from customer so that they can uh, uh, start uh, working you know much prior than the actual uh, uh, order comes okay so sir seeing these so many advancements how you are able to you know be up to date with such industry trends and best practices when in an organizations you also face a very challenging task as a job yes sir. yeah yeah because uh, is first, first thing is that you need to stay connected with the market you have to be very much available with your business associates your uh, partners uh, logistic service uh, providers uh, you have to be uh, you know sometimes uh, uh, stay connected with uh, the the digital media print media as well you have to learn about the new things happening and try to get it implement Uh, in your best capacity so that you can again learn something some new, new thing else was happening like when i i had uh, you know I, i had taken a project to install a new warehouse earlier time when when i when the warehouse type which was i was initiated then i come to know down that there are different type of warehouses are also available it is in better way so that's what okay. we learn about the new things available in the market okay okay sir so what do you see that what will this logistics be in next 5 years as we see that it has already seen so many transitions first thing is first thing it is i think uh, the, the the gap which was accessibility was the most major issue because uh, it, if we see that uh, not 
everyone was able to you know to 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 send their shipment to the company he need to sub go to the broker or the transport uh, area which we if you can see that every every city has their own transport nagar so if i need okay. to send the some parcel i had to even my father had to carry to the transport nagar then he will then search for five brokers he will say okay i will send it but now it is not there you just have to uh, contact the this uh, logistics service providers on the mobile there many apps are available there they will come to your home like i can name the shipper of it they are having giving a platform you can choose the service multiple courier as per their choice we have to put the dimensions of the shipments weight destination pin code to the pickup pin pickup pin code and the destination pin code person will come get your pickup and deliver it so the accessibility or easy accessibility is a major change which i am seeing in the next okay. five years uh, and apart from that also the digitally enabled and uh, you know that uh, the, the skipping of middle middlemen middle channels like brokers associations so this is what i am seeing okay okay sir so what is your advice for those newcomers professionals or students who want to move into this logistics domain and build a career as i said, yes as i yes. said that it is you know very much interesting field you have to uh, you will learn so many new things in logistics and uh, it uh, you know the, the the in upcoming time even if in today the manufacturing cost engineering cost is almost same for every company only the thing is they can create the value in their supply chain management and logistics management if some company is having their uh, uh, more efficient supply chain management it can their that their product cost will be lesser because uh, sub number of raw material suppliers are same for every company like i am making uh, a car so i will i will have my my vendors some ex company is also making car he will also have his vendors both same vendor the supplier to maruti same one supplier to hyundai but now how is the maruti maruti supply chain and price the, the, the strategies uh, and you can say how is their logistics management is competency of hyundai which will will better will have the more cost impact on their on their product so they can able to sustain their product in a better manner while uh, working on their supply chain so that's why i advise uh, you know uh, upcoming uh, new new students to explore this area because it has so many uh, improvements and scope to learn so other than the skills that you have mentioned analytics being grounded being open flexible having good intercommunication skills so one should be open to join this mm-hmm. very field with a fresh mind of you and be ready for <laughs> all challenges that you all challenges. as a professional have already are facing mm-hmm. on a day to day basis yes okay, yes yes okay sir i really take mm-hmm. this advice and i hope that many students do benefit with this very interview it was really yeah. nice talking to you sir we thank, thank you for giving us your valuable time to learn more about logistics and career pros- prospects prospects sorry for students mm-hmm. and professionals Thank you. Really thank nice you. Nice meeting. We again thank, thank you from V Skills, sir. Thank you, sir. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us.